Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. Uh, here is a topic that I think a lot of you are going to be pretty excited about to see what Fusion's actually able to do with this type of a file. What I want to show you is something inside of Fusion called AnyCAD. What AnyCAD does is it lets you work with non-native Fusion data and keep it synced to the original native file so that if that file changes, you can make it update from within inside Fusion 360. And that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to take a look to see how to make that happen. So a couple things you need to know to be able to make this work out is the first thing is you have to have a Fusion team account. This will not work with your default personal account that Fusion gives you, gives you when you sign up. So how do you go about getting a Fusion team account? The good news is, is everybody is eligible for one and it's free for everybody. So let's go take a look and see how we can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna to switch to a different application and come over here. And all you really need to do is do a web search for Autodesk Fusion Team Login, or you can type in this address, fusionteam.autodesk.com. So once you get there, you can go ahead, uh, if you don't have a Fusion Team project, you're gonna click on the start the project and follow the prompts, and you're going to have a Fusion Team uh, project created for your login, and you'll be the admin. So make sure you're gonna have whoever you want to be the admin for your organization be the one that creates the Fusion Team project. Once uh, you go ahead and create that project, I'm gonna switch over to uh, Autodesk 360. And in here, I would sign in. And when I sign in, it's gonna take me over to my uh, A360 account. And here you can see for Team Mechanical Advantage, here's some of the projects that I have. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a new project and I'm gonna call this AnyCAD YouTube. Pick an icon or use your own, whatever you wanna do with this. And then I'm gonna say create a project. Now inside of my list, we're gonna get a project created called AnyCAD YouTube. Now here's where the fun begins. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna upload the files. So these files can be things like step files, inventor files, SOLIDWORKS files, NX files, pro e files. There's a bunch of different file formats that'll work and the beauty is you can stay connected to those native file formats. I'm gonna do this sort of the manual way and we'll talk a little bit later on in the video about how you can do this more automatically. So I'm gonna upload a file, I'm gonna browse and I've put, I've created a, a a part on my uh, computer called bracket.step, and that's what I'm gonna work with today as a step file. But keep in mind, again, this works with step and uh, IGIS and NX and Inventor and SOLIDWORKS and those different type files the same exact way. I'm gonna go ahead and say open. And now it's uploading a version, but notice it didn't change the extension of this file. It's still a step file. And now we can switch back over into Fusion. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Fusion here. And we'll go in a couple things to note. Um, if I look at my teams, I've got a couple teams that I'm, I, this is my personal one, this is a Fusion Team account, and this is my Fusion Team account. It's important that I'm in the Fusion Team account. The other caveat to know is that uh, data can't right now necessarily coexist between these projects. So I can't be working in this project and go grab a file out of my personal project. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my data panel. And inside of here, we'll see um, if I refresh my AnyCAD YouTube, and what I'm gonna do is right click and open and say, just open I guess, and it'll open the file. It's gonna take just a second to sync it down. Um, once it gets synced down, what we're gonna notice in the timeline is in, it's going to be show a linked file icon. Okay, there we have the file open up on the computer. And like I said, notice at the bottom of the page, we have a linked icon letting me know that this is linked from, uh, it's not a Fusion file, it's a step file that we have open. So I'm again gonna switch back over to my A360 account. And now what I'd like to do is I'd, I've, I've received a change from a customer, whoever might have sent me this file. It's got an update to it. And I don't wanna start over from scratch. Maybe I have some cam tool pass or something. Maybe it's part of an assembly. So I don't wanna just delete this and start over again. So what I can do is hit this little drop down and say, I wanna upload a new version. Now your new version of the file has to be named the exact same as what, um, as what the original file was called. So here I have, I'm gonna to go to version two, which is the exact same name bracket.step. And I'm gonna go ahead and say open. And now Fusion is gonna upload that new version of the file. And y'all, you notice that Fusion is warning me that one of the components in my design is out of date. So when I switch over to Fusion now, 
Um, it tells me that, that the data in this folder has been updated, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the refresh button. And then I'm gonna hit the update button as well. And we'll take a second for Fusion to sync down the changes. All right, so there is the new version of the Fusion step file that I imported. So you can see the changes, uh, these little locating bosses were added, the depth of the pocket is shallower, um, and there was a chamfer on the outside, that chamfer has now been replaced with the radius. And again, I didn't have to start over from scratch, This it just figured out what geometry changed and update the model based on that. So it'll save me from having to file, export, file, import, uh, start over with my cam tool paths, uh, start over with new joints, things like that if I have it in a, in a design. So that is uh, the Fusion AnyCAD, and I think it's a it's a game changer as far as, um, especially if you're you know a machine shop working on files that you receive from customers. Okay, so one more thing that I talked about earlier in the video is the way that I showed you how to uh, insert this version was kind of a manual way. But note, what I did now is I went and signed into my Fusion team accounts. I went to that Fusion login, uh, Fusion team login page that I would mentioned earlier, and I signed in. And then I clicked on my name up in the uh, upper right-hand corner, and I'm an admin in this account, so I'm going to see other options available to me. But the one that I want to point out is this install desktop connector for Fusion. What this allows you to do is a one-way sync between your computer and your A360 account. So let's say that you had, um, you know, maybe you used to own a version of SolidWorks um, and you're starting to move on to Fusion, but you still have old legacy data you want to deal with. Um, so obviously it's, it's faster and easier to make those changes to your data inside of SolidWorks rather than starting over from scratch inside of Fusion. And what you could do is you could link your files uh, on your computer to your A360 account so that as you change them in SolidWorks, they would automatically propagate to your uh, Fusion team account and when you open them in Fusion, the updates would automatically happen without you having to go and upload the new versions. So that's what the desktop connector does. This is more of a one-way sync from your computer to your A360 account. I hope you guys found this video useful. I think AnyCAD is a huge game changer for Fusion 360. The fact that you can work with all those different types of files without having to you know, import and start over every time you get a new version of the file. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you found this helpful, it would be great if you'd subscribe. And thanks for taking the time to watch.